So I was constantly fearful of not being good enough in the eyes of my parents especially. And in general, I was just worried about everything, the risk of something negative happening, as well as the uncertainty of life in general. Hi everyone, my name is Ray, I am from Ipoh and I've moved to KL recently, only in January this year. I grew up in a family whereby religion wasn't really mentioned throughout our entire lives, though my family do acknowledge the existence of a god or even gods. So I've always been confused my entire life, especially when my parents tell me to, hey, remember to pray to God before your exams. And the first question that popped in my head is, which god should I pray to? I don't really have a religion. Am I allowed to pray to any gods? Are they all the same god? Is it equally effective if I pray to any one of them? So a lot of non-believers out there might wonder, what difference would it make if you are a Christian or a believer as opposed to if you aren't? I can't speak for everyone, but for me, I was constantly fearful of not being good enough in the eyes of my parents especially. I used to be overly rational about things and I've always felt the need to justify everything in life. And in general, I was just worried about everything, the risk of something negative happening, as well as the uncertainty of life in general. I am naturally an inquisitive person, so this led me to want to know more about God. But since young, I never really had the chance to, until one day back in the year 2012, my uncle back in Ipoh, he invited us to his church. That was the first time I've ever stepped foot into a church, which is a relatively modern church, as far as I can remember. The song choices on that day in worship really caught my attention as I have always had this misconception that churches are meant to be quiet, not really fun, you know. But that day really changed my perception of a church of that sort. Fast forward to the year 2018, I had the chance to visit a church voluntarily and my life was changed ever since. I was studying in the UK at that time, so the day I stepped foot into church, that was when I felt an unexplainable connection to the physical building of the church as well as the community of the church. Even though I was the minority in a foreign country, I'm not from the UK, the community there really made me feel like I'm nothing less but a local. I felt like I was included by them. During a young adult event back in the UK, I remember one of the leaders, he was inviting the people, the churchgoers, to raise our hands if we wanted to invite God into our lives. At that time, I remember that I did not have the courage to raise my hand and I really made a conscious decision to not raise my hands. However, without realizing, my hands were up. Although I was still having questions in my head, I realized that it was God's intervention at that moment, at that very life-changing moment that led to the change in my life ever since. As I surrendered myself to God, although there are still things in my life that I'm still concerned and uncertain about, I realized that as humans, no matter how much we try to plan, and carve out a life of our own, God will always have His plans for us. His ways are much better than any of us. He need not give us any prior notification, but all we need to do is really just to let Him lead us. So today, if I were to encounter something that is frustrating or unexpected, I remind myself that God is with me and He can lead me and you through. His ultimate blueprint for our life is good. There is divine purpose to our life. Even if I were to make a bad decision, God is there and He will work all things for good. The Lord works in mysterious ways and all we need to do is to just walk by faith. As He leads us, He will fulfill the plans that He has for us. We need not worry or be anxious because the God is leading you through too.